Hey guys, welcome back. So we've got another top five video for y'all today. Today is going to be my top five favorite brow products. So I've narrowed it down. I've got my top five for you. I'm gonna go through them, tell you why I love them, and yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So let's get to it. First product I wanna mention is the Milani Brow Fix Brow Kit. And I have it in light, but I also have it in medium. So I like this for several reasons. First off, mine is broken. So that's not one of the reasons I like it, but that's just a side note, it's broken somehow. So, but I had had it for a long time before that happened, so it's okay. Okay, so first reason that I love this set is for the little tiny tweezers. These are my favorite tweezers ever of any that I've tried. They just work amazingly well. They are so tiny, so they're good for travel too. Um, so I take this with me when I travel just because I have the really great tweezers in there. So that's one thing that I love about it. I just find that it like can just grab each hair so well and not just like grab it and then lose it, but like grab it and hang on to it so you can yank the sucker out. You know what I mean? So I love that. And then I also love these, the like brow products that are great shadows too. So I love to bring this when I travel also because these make a great eye look. They're so pretty. And that's why I bought the medium one because that one's really pretty too. So I can't really use that one on my brows, but I can use it on my eyes. So there is that one. So, so pretty. So nice kind of like, you know, taupey, cool toned sort of colors. So this one I can use on my brows and like a smidgen of that one, but I really have to be careful with that one, mostly that one. But then um, the medium one, just for shadows. This is so pretty. And then there is, I don't know if it's called dark or deep, but there's a third one too. So just beautiful powders. They again, work great on the brows. They work great on the eyes. So they're kind of like a double duty product, but then you get that great set of tweezers, super affordable. Love these things. Love, love, love them. Next is Benefits Cabrow, and I don't have the full size. This is like a little sample -y type size, but I wear it in the color number one. First off, it comes with a little brush on the end. The regular size does too, but it's nice that they did that with a little sample -y one too. So it's got a little brush on it. I do like the brush, but mainly I just really like the formula. This is kind of like a pomade sort of a product. It's gonna be real hard for you to tell in this tiny little packaging, but the regular size is like almost like a potted liquid liner is kind of what it looks like, um, like the actual like packaging of it, but it's like a pomade sort of a product and it's very kind of like gel-like. So I like it because I find that it's just easier to use. I first started with pomades, into the world of pomades with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. And I really, really liked that one, but that one is intense and it's just super, super pigmented and very, I don't do it, just very intense. So this one is more like gel-like. So it's just easier to work with. It blends, in my opinion, blends into the brows more easily, just isn't as like intense and well, bam, in your face brows, you know what I mean? So it's a little bit more soft, easy to work with in its texture, long wearing. It's just a great brow product. Next is a product from MAC and this is actually called Eyebrows. So this is Eyebrows. This is actually in the color Lingering, which is a little bit deep for me. Um, I really match fling better, but I'm out of fling right now. So I've just been kind of like using lingering just sort of sparingly, but this is a shade that will work for a bunch of different people. Like it's a really um, very kind of like universal sort of a color. So I've just been using lingering to just kind of like, you know, touch up the tail on my brows a little bit on the inner corner, but fling just matches me so much better. But what I like this for, why I like this brow product is it's a really nice kind of like creamy gel like sort of a pencil. So it glides on really easily. So you don't have to like, I hate brow products that like tug at your brows, like a really hard pencil. that's just hard to get through your brows. This is very like creamy and nice and easy to just kind of like flick on those sort of like hair like, um, marks on your brows. You know what I mean? So this is just easy to work with, but then it's very long wearing. So, it's just a great like go-to brow product. If you are kind of like a pencil brow product person, I think you'll really like this one, especially if you don't like that kind of like hard 
brow pencil sort of a product. This is more on the creamy side, but not too creamy where it like, I don't know, gets all gooey on your brows. You know what I'm talking about? Like the, the brow products that are too gooey and then you've got like too much product in your brows. This isn't like that, it's that happy medium. Now we're to the two brow products that if I run out of these, I instantly go repurchase them. I cannot be without these two products. First off is my NYX Micro Brow Brow Pencil and I wear this in taupe. Love this product because it is just a super, well, first off it has the little like spoolie on the end. I really don't use the spoolie, but it's nice that it's there. It's just a really tiny micro pencil. Really, really tiny. Again, it's that kind of like happy medium where it's not too creamy, but it's not gonna drag in your brows. It just like really nicely glides on. Um, not as creamy as the eyebrows from MAC, but still really nice and creamy and easy, just easy to apply, really. But just so tiny, so this is perfect for the tail of your brows. You can fill in your whole brows like with this product, but I just like to um, clean up my tail and then do like a little bit on the inner corner of my brows, but this one is just such a great one. A lot like the Anastasia Beverly Hills one, uh, the Brow Wiz, but this is just cheaper. I think it's usually, I think it's around $10, which is kind of high priced for a drugstore, but I usually like, you know, wait for a sale at Ulta or something like that, or use a coupon, you know, the Ulta coupons, something like that, so that helps with the price, but love, love, love it. And then Holy Grail Brow Product, if I could only pick one brow product to use for the rest of my life, which is a big statement, but if I had to pick one product, it would be this one. This is the NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade. Again, it's a brow pomade, but I like this so much better than the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade because this one, while the Cabrow is more like gel-like than the Dip Brow, this one is more kind of like moussey and it's very almost like fluffy in texture. So it just goes onto the brows so easily, quickly. It doesn't really like, um, take a lot of work to get it on the brows. It's just quicker. I'm slow at my brows in general. It takes me a while, I don't know why. It's just like the slowest part of my makeup routine seems to be my brows. But as far as like which one I'm quickest at, it would be this product. So it just, just because it like glides onto the brows. It does take a little bit to set because when it's first applied, it will definitely move around. Like if you touch it, it'll come off. But once it sets, it really is very long wearing and it lasts a long time. Not as long like in the container, the container lasts a long time. Not as long as the Dip Brow Pomade just because I had to use that one so sparingly. This one I can apply a little bit more, but it still lasts a long time. And also I really like the color because it's more of a cool toned blonde. So many brow products are more like warm tone bronze and they have that kind of like reddish sort of a tint to them and that just really does not work for me because I have very cool toned blonde hair. This is more cool toned, so I really like that. So blonde is the shade. It really is so close to the micro brow and taupe. I'm surprised this one isn't called taupe. I don't know if they have a taupe. I'm not sure about that. They might have a taupe in this, but I wear the taupe in the micro brow pencil and I wear blonde in the Tame and Frame pomade. It's amazing. All right guys, so that wraps up my top five favorite brow products. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful for you. Please give it a thumbs up if it was and let me know down below what your top five brow products are. I would love to know that, whether it's tools or a powder or a pomade or a pencil or whatever. Whatever you love, let me know that down below. Ask me any questions that you have, I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.